child's bedroom in their bedroom on their bed God you be right there and you rock them to sleep when they can't sleep God you rock them you rock that wife to sleep that husband God you do it that single woman that single man God you do it put love right there Build up their self-esteem right there. When they second guess themselves, if they are beautiful, if they are handsome, when they second guess themselves, do they look good? Is they enough? You be right there and you just speak life. You are more than. You are abundant. I chose you. You are my baby. You were born with a purpose. Just start speaking life into them. You are strong. You are creators. You are everything I needed you to be. You are everything I wanted you to be and more than. You are life. You are it. You are the swag. You turn the heads. You pick them up when they look down you pick their face up God when they're crying you wipe their tears every time they feel lonely you just hold them and hug them and let them know you right there and you was right there all the time you were right there all along you was right there you wasn't overlooked, baby, because Jesus was right there. Your prayers was not ignored because Jesus was right there. With his hands and his arms open wide. Oh, God, we just want to say hallelujah. It may get hard sometimes, but hallelujah anyhow it might get lonely sometimes but hallelujah it might get hard but hallelujah you might get a little stumble in your feet you might get weak but hallelujah anyhow to the most high is still hallelujah God, we still praise you even in our situation. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we magnify you. We adore you. We reverence you on today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we just say we welcome you here on today. Oh, God, we welcome you here on today. Oh, God, we welcome you here on today. If it had not been for your love, we still welcome you. If you don't do nothing else for us, God, we welcome you here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and just bless him and tell God you're welcome here. Tell God. Right here in my vessel, you're welcome here. welcome here. God, I love you. God, I adore you. I Just start speaking you. it in the atmosphere. Walk you. around and start claiming it in the atmosphere. Oh, oh God, I reverence you. I reverence oh, God, you. I love you. I love oh, God, you. I magnify you. Magnify I thank you, you for your glory. I thank you for the oh, grace card. God. Every time that I was angry, you still had grace for me. Every time that I was upset with you, you still had grace for me. You still loved me in my ugliness. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. love me you didn't have to see about me you didn't have to cover my children God I thank you thank you every breath that they still take 
thought it was you. You could have killed them, but you saved them. You protected them. You covered them. Because they was too born with a purpose. You didn't have to give me a Kamara. You didn't have to give me a Cameron. You didn't have to give me a Kamari. You didn't have to give me an Autumn, but God, you did it. You did it. You God, you did it. Oh, you did it. You did it. Oh, But 
God, show us your glory. Show these families your glory. Rest on them. Time after time after time, you rested on me. God, I ask that you keep that same energy with the people of God. Just rest on their shoulders and be right there. Rest in their cars. Rest on their phone. Allow them to get the good phone calls. Allow them to sit there and get the good jobs. I'm speaking life on today. Allow them to get the good jobs, to get the best homes, to get the best cars, but more so get the best word. Get all of you. Explode and disrupt in their minds that they have a new life, a new thought, new vision in this house. New authority, new power in this house. New creativity in this house. New conversation in this house. God, I bless you. I thank you for the men. I thank you for the women. I thank you for the children. I thank you right now for the finances that come into this house, for the tithing that come into this house, for the seed that come into this house. God, I bless you on today. I magnify you on today because you did it. You was a supplier. It was you all the time. It was you every time. It still is you. It will always be you. It always needs to be you. Every time, everything that we do, it needs to be you. In every vision, in every decision making, God, let it be you. I'm not without you. We're nothing without you. We're nothing. Without you, Jesus, all of you, less of me, all of you, less of them, more of you, more of you in every situation. Let it be more of you, every choice making. Let it be more of you. Push us, push us to greatness in this season, push us to greatness. Push us, keep us uncomfortable so that we keep running to you. God, I want to keep running to you. I want to lay all my burdens at the altar. All of my burdens at the altar. You do it. And we bless you. In Jesus' name. Yo 
welcome here. Holy Spirit, you're 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 welcome here. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. You're welcome here. Yes, God. You're yes, God. welcome here at 183 Bloss. Yes, God. You're yes, God. welcome yes, God. here at Greater Faith Hope Center. Yes, you're welcome here. You're yes, welcome here. You, Come flood this yes, place. Come flood this place. Come yes, flood this place and fill yes, the yes, atmosphere your glory God yes, oh your glory God your glory God is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence Lord I would like to give the honor to my pastor, Cynthia Anderson, for giving me the opportunity to come before you to teach. <clears throat> Jeez, Monica, you did that. Appreciate that. <laughs> First, I will start off by asking if anyone has a testimony that they want to give today. If you do, I will start off with mine. This week, I got not the best news about a certain subject. And I called a select few people to tell them. And any, <clears throat> sorry, the advice I always give to them, they threw it right back in my face. <laughs> Pretty much, don't worry about it. God got you. Don't stress about it. So that's what I'm doing. The situation is not finishes yet, but when it is, I'll give you the complete testimony of it when it is. So, is there anyone?
Yes, God. Yes, God. Sister April? I'm not either. Yes, God. Where you're saving in this season, please don't do it without me. Oh, don't, don't do it without me.
Yes, God. I'm going to work until my days are done. I'm going to work to the setting of the sun. There'll be no sorrow. There'll be no tomorrow. Cause I'm going to work until my days are done. And because God is a great and power. Shall never, never be defeated. And because God is the greatest power, we shall never, never be.
<laughs> A little bit different. We will never, never be defeated. testimony. I think this is a church testimony. I'm not trying to start nothing, so please. Sunday night, well, su sorry, Sunday evening service. 
something was happening out there. Somebody got shot. So we didn't know the ins and outs. Brandon called me yesterday and was like, it, well, when I was talking to Brandon about my lesson, he's like, yo, was this what that was? I said, no, to find out it was. So pretty much the guy was walking up from, I don't know what street that is down there, to come up this alleyway. He shot himself. Who knows who that bullet was meant for as he was coming here? Just that in itself. Did I say thank, thank you, thank you, Lord. Oh, oh. Church say they thank you, yeah, Lord. Oh, 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 I just walk from the bottom of my heart. I just. To the depth of my soul, I just want you there. Nobody told me the road would be easy. I just want you Today, my title is going to be In His Image. In His Image. So I'm going to start off by, I guess, a typ typical guy bringing up football. <laughs> a lot of people think the goal of football is to score touchdowns. But that is not quite the goal. The goal is to get first downs. Reason being, you manage the clock better. You keep the ball away from your opponent. So the more time you take, the less likely you're going to lose. So if you're going to throw... Hail Mary's down the field, and you expect that that's how you're going to win, you're going to feel defeated. There's a quarterback who's the quarterback of the team who runs the offense. If you put your offensive line in a position to just keep throwing the ball, that then gives the defense, all right, they're not going to run, so they're just going to come right at the quarterback. And more than not, the quarterback will get sacked. So the quarterback is the most important position. The line is there to protect them. The quarterback has to know, look at the defense, what play should I run for that defense, for that personnel that's on the field? If I'm on the field, middle linebacker, they're just going to say, run right at him because I'm not a football player. But if there's Ray Lewis right there, nah, we're going to run to the outside or we're going to probably go down the middle with a throw. So whenever you feel that God is not there, you know, you're going through the storm. You're like, oh, man, where are you at? What are you doing? You're praying, you're fasting, still not hearing nothing. Just remember, what does a teacher do during the test? They're quiet. They're silent. Sometimes they might give you a hint. Sometimes 
sometimes. So we got to transformation. This is for the youth. Do y'all know who that little thing is up there? Who? Ditto. And what does Ditto do? It's a Pokemon. <laughs> and what does Ditto do? <laughs> Not Jigglypuff, no. It's Ditto. Ditto has one attack, and that is transformation. It transform to whatever it sees, whatever it is in front of. We got to be careful to not transform into everything that you see or that you're in front of. So I got a scripture up there, Romans 12 and 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God will is his good and pleasing and perfect will. If you transform into something you're not supposed to be, that last part right there, his good, pleasing, and perfect will, you would not be a part of. Plain and simple. <clears throat> so, another thing that you can do what is holiness? What is holiness? So, I can't find, oh, there you go. Sorry about that. It's not coming up. Well, oh, there you go. I ain't do nothing. It's just not coming up. <laughs> so I broke it down. H stands for happiness. You can't have holiness without having some type of happiness. O, opportunistic. We as a people have to maximize the opportunities that we get. For instance, tonight, the pastor has been trying to get me to, <laughs> I'm telling myself, I get, like Katrina said, open, honest, transparent. Been trying to get me to do this for years. Years. <laughs> and I said, no. And then this time, I guess I was doing the morning, some morning inspiration thing. She gave me a call. I knew it was going to, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I, once I seen her like it one time, I was like, all right, I know she's going to be giving me a phone call. A few days later, I got the phone call. And I was like, you know what? All right. So now I'm maximizing my opportunity that was given to me. Life. L, life. So life is a mystery. We don't know what life is going to bring. If we did know the, let's say, my ending is going to be, he should, I believe God shows you, not your ending per se, but your, your biggest point in your life. He doesn't show you how to get there. And my belief is because if he shows you what it's going to take to get there, you're going to be like, I don't want that. Because the storms that you got to go through, everything that you got to go through, it's going to not work out well because you're going to be like, no, I'm not going to go through that. So that's why you got to have faith. Yes, you might know what your goal is, but you got to have faith that you're going to reach that goal. I, impactful. Now, this can go many different ways, but I'm going to choose to go this way. When, for instance, me at my job now, it's very impactful. Not only do I 
if I'm not there, a lot of stuff in Monroe County, the whole county can go haywire. Not only that, my coworkers know I'm in church. And one day, one of them came up to me and just started talking. Not a religious person. Can you pray for me? This X, Y, and Z. And it was the person who hired me that came up to me telling me this. So, oh, yeah, sure, no problem. So we got to be very impactful and watch the impact that we have on people. And we have to, we have to be nurturing. And I'm learning this as I go, too. <laughs> I don't have it all together. Nurturing. As a male, nurturing sometimes can come hard. But I realized from my mother and my father, they help whoever they can, whenever they can. They have more yeses than noes. And that is pretty much the same thing with me. I believe that I got that trait from my parents. Because I can, I don't find a child that does not like me, that don't feel uncomfortable around me. Because that is the next generation. So we got to be nurturing. E, endeavor. Does anybody want to touch on that? What they think endeavor means to them? To try? And that's exactly what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and S, sacrifice. Ooh, that is a big one. Because there's many sacrifices that can go on. Money, time, availability. You have to be able to sacrifice something for holiness. And the final one, the another S, save. You can't be not saved and have holiness. <laughs> Literally, you can't. Those two don't. You, you can't. So you have to be saved. So there's something here, legacy. The world definition of legacy is, legacy is something that is handed down from one period of time to another period of time. The Bible, Proverbs 13, 22, a good person leaves an inheritance for their children, not just their children, their children, children, so your grandchildren, but a sinner wealth is stored up for the righteous. That last part right there. The sinner's wealth is stored for the righteous. And you see them prospering. You see everything going right. But when it's time, when God says, huh, okay, that's about it. That just comes back to you is because it's stored up for us and another one in Psalms we will not hide from our descendants we will tell the next generation the kids the ones younger than you the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord his power and the wonders he has done. It, that's self, self-explanatory. What are you going to leave? What is your legacy?
Exactly. Not just money-wise. What do your kids see you doing? You can hand down bad attitudes, bad work, eth work ethics, respect. You can hand all of that down. So let's just keep that in mind. Like hawks. Like I take my son to bowling with us sometimes. And he has bowling at home. I'm happy I'm not a cursor. Because when he doesn't get a strike or something, he just go, ah, crap. <laughs> All types of stuff that he hear, me, Brandon, Tritton, Eddie, Steve, all the stuff that he's hearing, he's repeating when that same thing comes up in his life. So your kids, when you're upset, how do your kids see you act when you're upset? A hundred percent. Because when I'm upset at, in my house, I just get quiet. Is on now? Okay, wow. <laughs> Can't even remember where I was. That just threw me all the way off. Oh, when I get mad in my house, I get quiet. And I try my best. I don't raise my voice when I'm angry. That's one good thing I can say. I do not raise my voice. So I see that when Xavier gets upset, he doesn't raise his voice. He used to. He used to scream. Now he would just, Vroom! something like that, because that's what I do. When I got just like, Vroom! Vroom! I might scream, but that's in my car when I'm by myself, <laughs> something like that. Because you got to release. So, how much people know what this is? Besides Brandon. Do anybody know? No. Yep. Captain Planet. Yes. It is Captain Planet. Last week, I wasn't here, but I watched most of it. Not all of it, sorry. Most of it. Oh, like the pastor has, she, her title was, am I good enough? She said, it's okay, you can get help. There's a group of people there for you. Hint, Captain Planet. Who knows when all of them come together, what happens? And no, you can't remember. Earth, fire, wind, water, heart. When your powers combine, I am Captain Planet. So then this guy appears. He can defeat whatever, wherever, whoever, when, like the scripture says right there, for where there are two or three gathered in my name, there I am with them. So he comes down, literally, to fight the bad guys. When two or three are gathered in here, and we have storms. Exactly. I'm <laughs> leave that part right there. So, in his image, Katrina, can you pass the mic to my friend, please? Oh, Ashley. Not Ashley. <coughs> yes, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wanted a football too, but I didn't go to my house. I came right here after work. <laughs> so Katrina was like, they got some stuff in there. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> so I have this basketball. 
Basketball is worth about, I'll say five, six dollars, because it's not an authentic ball. But in my hands, I don't want to think too highly of myself, be mm -hmm. humble. If I touch this ball, it's worth about five, <laughs> eight dollars, whatever it's worth. You put this ball in LeBron James' hand, what happens? How much is that ball worth? Literally millions. These gloves. See, you're going too fast, Pastor. You're going too fast. <laughs> you put these gloves on. I put these on my hand. These are probably about 40, 50 bucks. They might get devalued because it's pink too. Nobody going to want, a, a male is not going to want pink gloves. But anybody know who Layla Ali is? Muhammad yeah. Ali's daughter. She's the best female boxer to ever box. She put this in her hands. How much are they worth? Millions. I hold a football. If y'all starting to get the drift, I hold a football is worth whatever I bought for the football. Peyton Manning, Joe Burrow, big name football players. They hold that football. What is it worth? Millions. If, if y'all didn't get it as yet, I'm sure y'all gonna get it with this one. You give me a slingshot. What is it? A toy. Literally, it's a toy to me. You give David a slingshot. What happens? Giants fall. You give me two pieces of fishes, five loaves of bread, I could probably feed four people. Because I will make fish bites to make it spread. But you give two pieces of fish, five loaves of bread to Jesus, what can he do? Feed thousands. Thousands. And I could take some to go. <laughs> exactly. So you give me nails. What can I do with it? Build you something. Like Katrina wants a podium for that to go on. Give me some nails. I could most likely do it. You give Jesus the nails. You put, <laughs> you put it in his hands. He gives you salvation. You put stress, struggle, hopelessness in your hands. What does it become? Stress. <laughs> hopelessness. Y'all get the drift now. You give those to Jesus, what does that become? Peace, victory, love. It done, oh, just going in and out, I guess. DNA. So the scientists out there, there's something called the God gene. Mind you, just remember, my topic is in his image. The God gene. Each one of us have a God gene. <laughs> so with that God gene, what does it do? There's that, the one that the scientists give. But look at the ending of it. Humans towards a spiritual or mystic experience. So we're connected, not just we're two or three, even with the Captain Planet characters. They're powerful by themselves. Mm -hmm. It's when they come together. He made us 
in his image. He gave us rule over the land. He gave us his DNA. Literally in your blood. Just think of when I was praying and everything, I'm like, yo, I got his DNA. <laughs> I got a lot of my parents' DNA, but their power can't do what Jesus' power does, <laughs> which is literally running in my veins. <clears throat> so I ask this question. What characteristics are you passing down? Not money. I, you don't have to say it out loud. Just think about it. What characteristics are you passing down? <laughs> I'm almost done. Not going to be before you too long. <laughs> So when you apply for a job, what do you give them normally? A resume. Why? It shows your path. So it literally shows your past. They still don't know what you're going to give them because it shows your past. So, what is your resume in the body of Christ? Think about it. Take a second. Ding! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Jerry. <laughs> what that is. So I had to sit back <laughs> and think what mine was. And I was like, it could be better when I looked it over. But I'm like, I was part of the first rebuild of this building. Who else can say that? I was there. I was in this ministry. Surprised me when I realized 15 years. I was like, wait, 2009, 10. I'm like, wow. This is literally 15 years. And no, it was not all roses. Me and Pastor had tons of tough conversations. <laughs> Probably will have more tough conversations. <laughs> so I think there's only. Exactly. Exactly. I might make some decisions too quick. That's why I'm probably dealing with some things that I'm dealing with now. But that wasn't nobody's fault but my own for those quick decisions. So just remember, you are made in his image. You have his DNA inside of you. And how does, how do you get saved, suppose? You walk into the church. When I came into the church, I used to smoke, I used to drink a ton. And a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm not going to name. <laughs> but I came in. I became a member. Did all that stuff stop right away? No. What did he have to do to me first? I, I made the decision because of free will to join. His DNA good, bad, or ugly, is still in you. So I tapped into something. He then showed me what I was doing, 
how to correct it. Not you, Sarah, Lucy, Michael. They didn't fix me. He literally came inside the Holy Spirit to make me clean from the inside out. I seen something, and it said, okay, you get, I'm, that's all going to tie it up. Who in here gets clean to go into the shower? <laughs> I guess nobody in here gets clean to go in the shower. So why we expect pe some people that come from out there to be clean, to come in here? What does the shower do? So let the Lord work on them. It may take, uh, again, I didn't stop right away. But that's why I wasn't up here doing this. Because there's plenty of times if you realize the pastor called me up a few times, just to give an inspiration, 90% 90, 90 of the time, 95, I was down there. Yeah. Because I knew I cannot step up here. I just knew because of what was happening at that point in time. Yeah. Even this lesson that I had to make, <laughs> I was thinking, I jotted down a bunch of stuff on the paper, and I never knew that this would have happened. I heard the pastor say it, I heard Katrina say it, Brandon, when I came to put everything together, none of it was on, was what I used. So all that time I spent, that I spent <laughs> doing it, if I show you all the paper that I have at home, doom, 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 doom. Because from the day that we had the meeting, get it straight. Literally, yesterday. Katrina texted me, say, you good for tomorrow? I said, yes. I was literally <laughs> halfway through what I was doing. So then what did I do? What did the pastor say? When you need help. So I called Brandon. I shared my screen. He's like, okay, yeah, yeah. He says, that's funny that you have that picture of Ditto, because I, today, was pulling that picture to send to my coworker for something. Then I was like, yep, that's what I needed. That's the confirmation I needed. I'm on the right track. So in my closing, who DNA is in you? Thank you. God bless. You did an awesome job. Awesome job. We let, we let them use you. I liked holiness, happiness, opportunistic, life, impactful, nurturing, endeavor, sacrifice, and save. Because you can't be holy without being saved. You can't be holy without being saved. And really, you can't be saved without being holy. They go hand in hand. He said legacy is something handed down from one period of time to another. A good person leaves an inheritance for their children's children. We are made in God's image. His DNA, it's in us because we got the God gene. We got the God gene. You have the God gene? You got the God gene? We got the God gene. We are connected because we have the God gene. I like the slingshot. 
giants fall. He said, in my hand, it's nothing. But in, in, it's a toy, but in David's hand, giants fall. He says, stress in my hand is just chaos, and I don't know what I'm doing. But in God's hand, it's testimonies. It's peace. It's victory. Did he bless you? Did he bless you? Did he bless you? It's blessing time. It's offering time. It's offering time. I'm looking for our decree. As we stand on our feet, we prepare our hearts and our minds to give. We get our cash together. We get our givelify together. Cash app. <laughs> In all electronic ways. I don't know it all. <laughs> Y'all ready? Y'all ready? As we give today's tithe, offering and seed, we're believing God for jobs and better jobs, raises and notices, benefits, business prosperity, sales and commission. Settlements, Settlements, estates and inheritance, and inheritance. Interest, and income, interest and income, rebates and returns, rebates and returns. checks in the mail, in the better yet, yet, checks in my name, in my name. gifts and surprises, and surprises. to my cash app, my to my Zelle, to my PayPal, to my Venmo, and all electronic ways to transfer money. Finding money. Bills paid off. Debts demolished. Credit scores increased. Money paid back. Loans paid off. I shall live and not borrow. I shall prosper and be in health. I shall give and be blessed. It's offering time. It's offering time. It's offering time. As we are getting led around by our usher, the musician is going to bless us with some music. Hallelujah. Come around excited. Come around expecting. Great things, I'm expecting great things, I'm expecting great things, oh, I'm expecting great things, great things, I'm expecting great things. I'm expecting great things, tithers. I'm expecting great things, great things in my life. Do the great things in my home. You do great 
things all around you the great things eyes haven't seen I choose to believe in great things. Father God, we thank you for the tithers. We thank you for the blessings that you have poured into them for being obedient, God. We ask you to order their steps in their finances, God. Order their steps in their lives, God. We ask you to pour back in as they pour into your kingdom, God. We thank you for everyone here that has sown into your kingdom. We thank you just for what you're doing in our lives, God. We command a blessing. We command a blessing because we are being obedient. We are walking by faith and not by sight, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for doing it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless you right now, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Announcements.